Hello again, this is Josh with Science and Sailing, and as promised, I'm going to show you guys how to make a figure eight with a follow through, just like we used to tie to the bosun's chair when I went aloft in the previous video. In order to make a figure eight with a follow through, you need to have an end that's going up and your bitter end, the end that's not attached to anything. Okay? So your end that's going up right here, you're going to take your bitter end and make a loop like that. You're going to take the bitter end again. So this is going in front of the standing end. The bitter end is then going to go behind the standing end like that. And then it's going to go through itself, that loop at the bottom. And there you have your figure eight. But this is a figure eight with a follow through. Okay, so if I had that bosun's chair or a climbing harness or even something as simple as this block, if I want to secure this block to that rope and I want to make sure it's not going to fall, I can pass the bitter end through a fixed point just like this. And then all you have to do, like the name implies, is follow through. So follow the knot you already tied up like that around your standing end, the end that's attached up top like that around the front again and back up and through. You're just following the knot that you already made and in effect you have two figure eights. You tied one figure eight, you went through the point that you're trying to secure, a climbing harness, a bosun's chair, or anything else that you want to pick up or lower down, and then you follow your knot through to make your second figure eight. If you want to make sure it's right, you can count two, 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 that's three twos, four twos, five twos. So five sets of two. One, two, three, four, five. I'll show you this one more time so you can try to follow along. And we'll start from the beginning. Again, you have your end at the top that's attached to something. You're gonna make a loop at the bottom just like so. Take your bitter end, bring it around. Make sure you have enough tail. Otherwise, you won't have enough line to make this knot twice. And make sure you leave slack in your first knot so that it'll fit next to it. So again, you've got your loop at the bottom and front of the standing end. Go behind the standing end and make a loop behind it. Bring it back through your original loop. Just like that. So you've got a figure eight. So look at that for a minute, examine it. Try to see how it flows. And now again, you're gonna take that bitter end, pass it through the point that you wanna lift up or haul or, or lower down and simply follow through. Now, you don't want a lot of space here. So you wanna pull this through so that there's not much space right here, okay? Remember, I left some slack in here so I have enough space to tie a second figure eight around the original. Again, you're gonna follow it up and around. Around the bottom. and up through the top. And just like before, you've got two, 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 two. One, two, three, four, five. If you've got a lot of slack up here, you can tie an overhand knot if it's not much. If you have more, you can tie a blood knot or a barrel knot, there's many names. But again, that is a figure eight with a follow through.
you have any questions, ask me in the comment section below. This has been Josh, bringing the Bayshore to you.